Hi, in this video we are going to walk through editing the new case input form. Okay, and what we're referring to by the new case input form is in the support module. So you'll need to be in the support module. Over here under the external site page, you've already configured your external link. Now, in this case, I've already logged in as an external user. When I go to service requests, I can create a new service request. So what we're going to be talking about is the form that you edit when you say log a new service request. So here's the form right here that comes up and you have the ability to change the fields that are displayed on this form. We're going to show you how to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to come over here to our external site page. We're going to click on the case tab and there's a little edit link. It says new service request form. We're going to click that edit button and up pops this window. Okay, so what I've got is I've got both these windows. These are both pop-up windows. I've just got them both displayed here so you can see them. I've got all of these selected fields on my form. And you'll see that they all show up on my form. So all I've got to do to move one out of the form is to click the arrow, move it back. So I just moved them out. Now if I want additional forms, you'll need to go and create those custom fields. And there's a video on creating custom fields reorder the page with the small arrows. This is much like we do in the views and a few other places in the application. You can reorder things. Now when I submit this page, that window is going to go away. And then when I come back over here, because I've still got this window open, what I need to do is I'm just going to refresh my browser. And there you can see those fields have changed. One more time. Click Edit. If I want to add that field back in, I just bring it over, hit the arrow, submit my page. Now when I come over here and I hit Refresh again, now that field's back on there. All right. In this video, we're also going to show you how to edit the detail page. The detail page is what you see after you've created a service request. In this case, I've created one. Just, just filling out that form on the last screen would create a service request. And here I have some fields that are available. Now over here again, this is inside the application. I click the edit link. It's actually the same page that pulls up. So you see if I want to add priority in and I want to take expected close date out and I want to move priority up, submit. So then here's my form. We'll go, back, we'll go back into that case and see those changes take effect. There we go. Thank you.